All right, so obviously it was raining this morning, so we're gonna wipe the car off. And uh, I've just got a collection of different products I'll use to wipe cars off. This is uh, Meguiar's M34 Final Inspection. I usually don't use this for wiping a car off, but you can. Um, I like to use the stuff that has a wax in it just to get a little bit of wax boost. And uh, the M34 I really use more for like detail work, but you could definitely use this to wipe off a car if you want to. So uh, I'm going to go through this with Bear and kind of teach him how to do it because he doesn't really know what goes into you know, properly wiping the car off. And I'll probably just have him film me kind of doing half of the car and then I'll have him do the other half and kind of film it. And you know, that way if he has any questions or whatever, that's probably a common question somebody else who's never really done it before is going to have. So probably be a good learning experience. So uh, I think we're going to go with the gold class. You know, any of these products, you always want to agitate them. So before you use it, you know, shake it up. Any one of them. You know, even M34, I mean, probably doesn't really need to be agitated, but I don't know. I'm a big fan of just agitating products just because some of them will have some kind of settling that happens. So you always want to agitate it to, so it's properly mixed. So we've got some brand new microfiber tiles here. And one of the things I like to do you know, number one, check and make sure there's no tags on there. So these are tag lists. The other thing, can you grab a different color? Yeah. The other thing I'll do sometimes is use different colors because I think it's a little bit easier to not get confused with which towel is wet and which towel is dry. Um, the other thing is, especially a new towel, and I'll start by just kind of shaking it, get any kind of lint off of there. And some things to keep in mind too, like you want to keep these towels clean. So if you drop this towel on the floor, just wash it. Like whatever's on the floor is going to get on the towel and that's like sandpaper. So if we drop it on the floor and pick it up and there's little tiny rocks on here, we're basically going to be sanding the car. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind too is like be aware of like if you have a belt buckle or if you've got keys in your pocket, you want to take the keys out because when I'm coming over here and I'm I might be you know touching the vehicle I mean you want to try to avoid touching the vehicle but if you do have to lean in you don't want keys in your pocket you might scratch the car so you want to come over here and film me yeah. the other thing too is like you know like this is a dusty toolbox so if I take this towel and throw it on top of this dusty toolbox I'm gonna get dirt on the towel so you might want to put another towel down or like you know here's a jacket so I can put it on top of that or Put it on something that's not dirty. Go ahead and film me. So the other thing I like to do, well actually let me go through this first. Here. The other thing uh, to keep in mind is, you know, it's kind of like washing a car. You want to work from the top down. And the basic reasoning behind that is just the fact that the top of the vehicle is going to be cleaner than the bottom. So I mean, you can see the top of the car, it's not really that dirty, but as we come down, you know, we can see there's more dirt down here. You know, you're going to have a lot of dirt coming up from tires. Same thing with back here. This is one of the dirtier parts and actually the whole back will just kind of get, has a tendency to get dirtier than let's say the roof. So. Kind of like when I'm washing a car, I do the same thing. I always like to start on the hood because I feel like the hood is kind of the centerpiece of the car. Like when most people look at your car, they're going to notice the hood above anything else. So I always start on the hood because I feel like this is the cleanest these towels are going to be. And I want the hood to look its best. So, I mean, you could start on the roof, but for me, I like to start on the hood. Go ahead. So I'll take the towels and fold them into, into quarters. And then the first thing I like to do is get my wipe towel, a little saturated with product. And then, you know, with this car having a bra, I'm probably gonna stay away. Sometimes I'll spray. The problem with spraying is it kind of goes everywhere. 
So spraying onto the towel is going to avoid getting material all over the place. And the same thing is like, you don't want to spray it like this where it's going to get all over the car. You won't step away and spray on it. So I might just get a little on there. And I'm just, I'm breaking it into sections. So I'm not pushing down, I'm just spreading the product. I'm going to do the top of the fender. And then you just want to take your dry towel, you're not pressing hard, you're just removing the residue. And now like with this car, having the clear bra, just kind of do this section separately. So now I'm going to break this section of the hood. Get another squirt of the product. So I like to use two towels because I feel like using two towels will uh, extend how far you can go with the product too. Like I feel like when you use one towel it gets so saturated that you actually end up throwing this towel down and grabbing another one. So I feel like this is just a better way to do it. And then this towel stays drier so when you go to wipe this is a lot drier than trying to use this towel to wet wipe and flip over and dry. So kind of keeping with the top down thing. Now I'm going to move into doing the roof. The other thing to keep in mind too is like, you know, to, uh, periodically look at the towel, make sure there's nothing on it. You know, sometimes you'll get these little tiny leaves and they'll get caught in the pleats of the towel mm. and that leaf will start scratching the paint. And that's the other thing. Listen, listen as you're wiping. If you hear something that's, you know, <laughs> sounds like it's something's getting chopped up, then look at your towel and look at the surface too. If you see it scratching something, then obviously stop. So I'm coming back to the A-pillar. You know, kind of, like I said, breaking in sections. So I'm gonna stop around the quarter glass. And this car's really not that dirty, so it's not gonna take much to get that layer off of there. And I can hit the the mirror over here. So once again, just doing half. The spray detailer is really good for like these textured pieces. You don't have to worry about them getting uh, chalky or any kind of residue on there. So you can just wipe that off too. That's actually a good way to get a little bit of wax on it. Uh, I mean, this, this raw plastic stuff likes to deteriorate and kind of like this spot up here too. We've got more raw plastic. Any of the rubber stuff, same thing. This stuff is great for that. You can get a little bit of that wax protection on there. It's going to give that rubber a little bit of nourishment. So if you feel like the towel's starting to get dirty, you know, you can flip it. And then on the wet towel, when you flip it, you can flip it to the side you had already been spraying on. So kind of do a double flip on that. So I'm going to keep coming back this way. I'll usually stay away from the glass, like the glass is one of the last things I'll do. So I got the half of the, the roof done and come down the sail panel. You know, just keep in mind, you're just gliding over. You're just, you just want to get that layer 
of dirt off. You don't have to push and lean into it. So breaking it into sections again, I'm going to get the top of the quarter here. It's kind of a weird design on this Camaro, but it's got like a top to the quarter panel here. <clears throat> Want to come over here? I don't know if you can catch that. So there's like some little water drops here. So this might need a little more takes a little more wiping than usual. So you gotta always kinda look at what you're doing and get that light right. You know, right now it's kinda perfect. I've got the natural light coming down. I can kinda get an angle and see what's going on. So kinda keeping with the sections, another spritz. I'm just gonna break it off of that, that filler, the fuel filler door. Like I said, now we're getting to the dirtier section, so kind of keep an eye on if you're actually getting the dirt off of there. I'm trying not to touch. I mean, it's okay if the towel overlaps, but I am trying to stay off of this stuff. So once again, thinking in sections, I'm just gonna break it off of this line. You know, it's, it's easy to just kind of follow the body lines and contours of the car, break it into sections. So the other thing too, going back to the dirtier parts. So, you know, a lot of people would just keep going down, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to leave this halfway through the body. I'm going to leave that and I'm going to stick to the top here. coming around the door handle. I like to kind of keep this section small so I can work in on the door handle and the product will kind of stay wet enough for a good wipe. Instead of doing the whole thing, I just got this smaller section. Sliding over the panel. So same thing coming back to the fender. Give it another spritz. And just letting that towel lay on the surface. back here finish this half of the deck lid. So once again talking about sections, I'm just going to do the half of it. Let's that product stay a little wetter. It's easier to get a nice wipe when it's hasn't flashed off. So I'm just going to come along the spoiler. Same thing the spoiler as a section. You know, this is a great way to just really get a to get an, an idea of what's going on with your car, especially with body damage. Like as I wipe this, you know, I can see there's a dent here. You know, you'll find all kinds of stuff that's wrong with your car when you really take the time to look at it. It's on the list. So I'm only going to do half of the car, 
but I would do the other upper halves, you know, and then start working my way down. So now we're getting into the dirtier sections. So I'm gonna start at the fender. You know, and, and you can even see like, there's already down here, these big chunks that are slung up on here. So I'm actually gonna leave this rocker panel. It, it's pretty much like the last thing I'm gonna wipe because this is the most dirt. But I mean, the other thing you can do is just swap the towel out. So it really, it really depends on how much mileage you're getting out of the towel, which just kind of boils down to experience. I mean, you after you do this a few times, you're gonna kind of figure it out. So like I said, you know, you're just doing it in sections. And on this, I might even just leave this hole from this body line down, just because it's so dirty down there. But I mean, so far, I mean, look at how much we've gotten done, and I haven't like pulled the hose out and blasted water all over this car. And even if you do that, you know, let's say you wash the car, then you gotta dry it, you've got water dripping out everywhere. I mean, to me, this is like, it's just way easier and faster. And especially if, if your car is, you know, like this car's not that dirty, it just went through the rain today. So it doesn't really need a full on wash. So and then, like I said, you know, kind of keep looking at your towel. This thing's still doing really good. Like I said, this car's not that dirty, but I'm just gonna go ahead and flip aside. If you wanna spray on the panel, you can. You can see it's kind of, it's kind of why I don't usually spray. It ends up get over spray, so then you're re-wiping this. But that's kind of personal preference too. If you wanna spray, then go ahead and spray. And you can kind of see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see like little water spots from when it, when, when it rained on there. So you really, that's kind of the key to this stuff. Like you want to get down and, and have the light so you can see what you're actually doing. And that's how you're going to avoid streaking. And now this towel is garbage. It needs to be washed. I'm going to put that off to the side. Grab another towel. Same thing coming back here, this bottom section of the quarter panel. You know, it's gonna get into these recesses here. Since this is dirtier, it's gonna take a little more wiping to get it clean than the top or like the hood. There was really nothing on there, so it just came right off. But this you wanna you wanna look and make sure that you're removing whatever water spots. want to get into a tighter section and kind of fold the towel down so I'm gonna try to keep it off of here you know the other thing too like put the bottle on the ground or like sometimes I got like a roller stool I'll bring the roller stool around and, and put it on the stool so I'm not going all the way down to pick it up but don't like set this on the car because when you put it on the ground, you're, you're getting little rocks and stuff on there. So you come up here and you set it on top of the car, you're just putting rocks onto the car. Alright, so now I'm gonna get into doing the bumper. I would say this is probably this is one of the dirtiest, but this is still that's probably the second. This will be the, the dirtiest part down here in, in the rocker. So we're gonna save that for later. Now as far as the bumper goes, usually the side is dirtier than the back. So I'm gonna start at the back and work my way this way. Doing it top down.
the other thing to keep in mind is you can pretty much use this detailer on anything. You know, like the chrome trim, any kind of plastic, tail lights, headlights, you name it. It's going to work on it. All that chrome had that spotting from the water on there and it's just pulling it right off of there. That's kind of the thing you got to keep in mind too, you know, that this, this product is going to emulsify that dirt and lift it from the panel and that this towel is, gonna, is what we're using to remove that dirt. So doing sections again. Come over here, get up in this backup light. this on the license plate but I'm gonna save that for later same thing you can use it on this textured stuff like I said before this stuff is really great for the texture but this is very dirty so I'm gonna finish the side of the bumper You can see on the towel, like I was saying, like these are like little leaves or something. So I like to try to pick any of that stuff off of there. And then, since that was so dirty, I'm going to flip the towel now. Flip the dry towel. And we're pretty much getting to the end of the road with these two towels. But I'm going to finish up the rocker section. So I'll use a little more product get a little more saturation because all the dirt down here like I said just doing it in sections you know work work the product until you see those watermarks disappearing and then just remove it with that dry towel
All right, did we scratch this thing? Did we destroy it with scratches? Nope. So here's the thing with doing it this way. A lot of people are like, oh, you'll scratch the car, you'll scratch the car. It's like, yeah, okay, I agree. I mean, and when you watch these videos, like these guys will like roll the towel and come back and roll this and that's like, throw them away or burn them because they're dirty. It's like, yeah, I understand that. Like, maybe that's how I'd wipe off a Ferrari, but we're not doing a Ferrari. It's a daily driver. Now, the other thing to keep in mind too, like down here, we got a lot of rock chips. I mean, they're pretty small, but the point I'm trying to make about that is don't mistake that for dirt. Like sometimes a rock chip looks like a, a piece of dirt and you're like, why won't this come off? And then you take a really close look at it and it's just like a rock chip. Okay, so I'll usually get all the body stuff done and then I'll grab uh, new towels and sometimes I'll use a quick detailer on the glass, which is probably what we're going to do today. If you feel like you want to use a glass cleaner, you can do that. That's fine. The other thing is I'll, I'll do the wheels too with the quick detailer. Um, you know, I have towels that I just kind of use for wheels, so it's up to you. But like, you don't want to clean the wheel with these towels and then like come up here and wipe the car with it. It's like the towels you use on the wheel, just use them on the wheel and that's it. And then throw them in the wash. So I'll come back to the front. <clears throat> the only thing up front here we can really wipe off would be the headlights and the turn signals. You know, getting into the turn signal in this area, which uh, I'm not gonna use these towels to do that because I did the bottom. So when we grab some fresh towels, I'll do those with different towels. But uh, I think now you ready to try it? Yeah. So go ahead and grab a couple towels. So I mean, this perfect example, or let me grab that tool. This thing is perfect for putting the bottle on. So this way, I'm not like going all the way down to the floor to get to this thing. So that's kind of what I like to do. I got a roller chair that I like to roll around with the car. So we got the two towels, two different colors, shaking it. So you're just looking to spread that product. I could probably go a little wetter, get a little more product on there. There you go. Especially a fresh towel, it's like you got to get it a little more saturated. All right. Well, let's just stop at this section. Grab your dry towel. There you go. And then, of course, too, when you're going from side to side, you always want to kind of come back and look at the overlap side because you might leave a little streak. I mean, this looks good, but just keep that in mind. Like sometimes you'll you'll be wiping this side and you kind of leave a little streak on the on the other side. So just kind of keep your eyes out for that. So did you get this hole? You know what? I did. And you see how lightly he's touching it? It's just a, you're just laying the towel on there and letting the product do all the work. You know, a lot of people get this like gorilla push on there that you really don't need. And then the most important thing, I mean, this is a big thing with like when I'm painting cars and teaching, whenever I'm teaching someone how to paint a car, it's like no matter what you're doing, fixing a car, you have to look at what you're doing. Like there's a lot of people they're gonna come up to this car and they're just gonna go through the motions it's like oh yeah wipe it with the wet towel wipe it with the dry towel i'm done then you come back and look at it and it's like it looks terrible it's all streaky so they do the whole car like that and then they get done they're like oh it looks all streaky it's like yeah because you're not checking your work dude so that's why i like to do it in sections so i'm gonna come back we'll do this section and then we're gonna take a look at it and it's like okay it looks good then you move on if not go back and do some more
So between your sections, I mean, you're probably only going to need a spritz or two. So what Bear is doing is actually perfect. Ready to work this next section. Yeah. Like I said, be aware of where your body's at when you're coming up on the side of the car. Like I said, keys, you know, you can easily scratch the finish by rubbing your keys up against it. You're probably gonna need a little more. If you, well, here, come over here and look. You see those little, let me see if I can catch them on the camera. See those little dots on there? Yeah. Gotta wipe it some more. There you go. Might want to give a couple more spritz. So, I mean, that's a perfect example of what I was just saying about don't just go through the motions. Like, don't just rub the towel over it and then walk to the next section. You've got to really, got to be moving your head and looking, getting the light in the right place and make sure that the surface is wiped off properly. There's no streaks, no water, water spots left. And the other thing is just go ahead and rub the towel on there again. Just listen to this. I don't hear anything. So like I said, you always want to be listening because if you hear something like scratching, like you know, you might have a little chunk of something, a little piece of a leaf or something that, that got on there and it's chewing into the paint. So you know, you're, you're looking at it, you're using your ears and the feel of the towel, you know, like I said, don't go through the motions. You know, you really you want to pay attention to what you're doing. That's good, yeah, keep it in a small section. It's almost like, uh, try to work in a section that's almost like shoulder width. Look at that, looks perfect. All right, we're gonna finish. Uh, uh, don't forget the mirror too, and then it can work further down. Yeah. We'll get this side finished up and show you the doing the wheels and glass. All right, so I just wanted to get a shot of this. You kind of see on the quarter that light layer. And uh, Bear was just saying, he's like, man, this car really looks amazing. So I just kind of want to make the point like, you know, this is the thing with detailing. You know, it took a lot of work for me to buff the car to get it to this level. And I mean, what's funny is this car was, was pretty destroyed with scratches. And this also goes back to, remember me talking about, this car is not what I would consider to be 100% corrected. But I mean, look at it. I mean, are you disappointed with no, this? No, not at all. Do you think anyone driving past this car is going to be like, oh, I oh somebody they probably buffed it, but they didn't go all the way with it. Hmm, that's disappointing. No. So, and and the other thing, too, like the dents. It's like, yeah, the, it's, a, it's a daily driver, dude. It's got dents and it's got little scratches. But, I mean, look at this. You come over here and look at this. And now let me ask you this, like, what do you, what do you think about wiping the car off versus washing it? Oh, it's way easier. Right now, I mean. Yeah. I mean like, you would have had the hose out, you would have had it outside, you would have been spraying water everywhere. And I mean, I'm not totally against washing a car, but I mean, once you get it to this level, to where it's clean, yeah. and it's, and especially, you know, once it's been buffed or especially something gets clayed, you know, the towel just glides over the surface. It's so easy to wipe it off. Yeah, I've noticed that too. on the C4 Corvette I had and yeah. uh, it was probably hard to wipe yeah yeah and you're probably like what the hell dude I used to hate spray wax because yeah. I, I wasn't really in the clay bar and then after I got done 
getting into the clay, it's like, oh, that's why. It's like all those bonded contaminants, it's like they're grabbing the towel and the towel is just skittering across the paint. Yeah, and I'd always have residue that I couldn't quite mm -hmm. wipe off. And also, too, you said buying good towels. Yeah. I mean, the garbage I was using before, these work way better. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to finish wiping this side, and then, like I said, we'll uh, go over the glass and the wheels real quick here. All right, so just cleaned off the glass with the quick detailer. I mean, it's kind of funny because just being out here, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's like there's already a layer of dust from whatever's floating around in the air today. But for the most part, got her straightened out. All right, so uh, I'm going to get into showing you how to clean the wheel off. It's kind of the same, same concept. I'm going to use the ultimate. Uh, why? Because I like the way it smells. So I mean, any of these products, like, I mean, there's a lot of people, like, if you're super concerned about scratching your car, this is probably the best product to use because it's really made to do what we're doing. But, I mean, I can tell you this much. I've used spray detailers to clean all kinds of cars and I've had excellent results. But if you're, if you live in that world where you're hyper ridiculous about scratching a car, then just use a waterless washing wax. So, same thing with the rim. I'm just going to saturate the towel. I mean, you can spray on there if you want to. Like I said before, I'm not a big fan of that, but, you know, you got you to gotta do what makes you happy. So kind of the same thing, like you want to break everything off into a section. So I'll work the inside of the spoke and dry it off. I'll do the face, come back to the inside. See, we're already getting some doo-doo sauce on there. I'm not really super concerned with scratching the rims. I mean, it's main, most of that is just brake dust. But I wouldn't take this and go, oh, I missed a spot. And, you know, these are just to use on the wheels. But, I mean, once again, like, you'll get to the point where you can do this pretty quickly. And if your wheel's already fairly clean, you know, if you've got really messed up wheels that need a full on, you know, super cleaning, then this is probably not gonna yield the best result. But these rooms are already pretty clean. They just got a little dirtied up from driving through the rain today. So once again, I mean, do I wanna bust out a hose and scrub these things down? No, it does, doesn't really need it. And of course, you're going to get your people that are going to be like, oh, it's clean the barrels. And it's like, well, look, dude, it's not a show car. And if I want to clean the barrels, I'm going to like take the wheels off. And I mean, especially this, it would really need a super cleaning job. So, I mean, that's kind of beyond the scope of what I'm willing to do right now. So, I mean, I just want to get the outsides looking good. And it's like, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's definitely an improvement. So then getting into the center, you know, you can always fold your towel up a little more to get in those tighter areas. That center wiped out. Get into these recesses. So there you go. And I mean, the nice thing about these products, like I said, you know, you could use the M34, but this doesn't have a wax on it. And to me, I just like to have that little bit of wax. You know, I think it's always a good idea to get that wax boost if you can. But I mean, end result, it's a clean looking wheel. So, uh, you know, like I said, these towels now, I mean, they gotta be washed, but like, don't use these towels on the paint. Like, you use these on the wheels, you know, once they're washed, you can use them on the paint again. And some people will actually get towels like, you know, 
you could be like, oh, I'm only going to use the green and the red for my wheels. Like if you want to go down that route, you can just have separate towels for only the wheels. That's fine. So <clears throat> the other thing I want to talk about, you know, some cars, you've got a nice belt strip molding here. So when you're getting out of the car and you want to shut this door, you know, a lot of people, they just put their hand on the door and they push it closed. So this whole area of the door will get destroyed from people pushing the door shut. So what you can do is when you get out, just put your fingers on this door molding and push it shut. You know, that way you're not, you don't have your hand on there, like pushing on the door, which is gonna end up scratching it. So, I mean, maybe some people think that's ridiculous, that's fine, then don't do it. But if you wanna maintain that finish and not get it all messed up, or like you see cars where it has like handprints where someone closed the door. I mean, that's a way to kind of avoid doing that. The other tip is to, uh, definitely wear some knee pads if you can. Even if you're a younger person, you're not going to be young forever. And uh, if you talk to enough older people who have destroyed their knees, they will tell you how smart you are for wearing knee pads. So pony up the bucks and get some. They're well worth the money. All right, guys, maybe we'll uh, pull this thing out into the light and show you what it looks like all finished up, but it turned out pretty damn good. We'll have to get the other wheels finished up and uh, we'll try to get a shot of this outside. All right, guys, one more thing I wanted to talk about. When you go to wash these towels, I like to use warm water and I only use a dishwashing soap, okay? Because the dishwashing soap is gonna help release whatever waxes in these things and get them nice and clean. Uh, the other thing too, when you go to dry them, you don't want to use a lot of heat and do not use fabric softener. And same thing, it goes back to, that's why you don't want to use like uh, any kind of laundry detergent. So just use dish soap and then uh, like a low heat to dry and uh, do not use any kind of fabric softener sheets in there either. The fabric softener sheets are going to make it difficult for the towel to absorb water or any kind of liquid. So you definitely don't want that happening because then you'll be like, why aren't these towels working? It's like, well, you washed them wrong, that's why. So it's a little tip there with that. And then if you buy towels and you're having issues, then just go out and buy a different kind of towel. You know, some towels work better than others. Like these towels, these fluffy things, these are pretty terrible. These just, this will just smear product all over the place and you'll lose your mind. So stay away from these things. I'll put a link in the description for the, the towels that I like to use if you want to check that out. So get these wheels finished up. What do you think guys? Do we scratch it up by not using a foam cannon on it?
The other thing to keep in mind too, like, you know, now if you wanted to put like an actual liquid or you could even come back with a spray wax or a paste wax or whatever you want, you know, now the surface is clean and you can actually wax it. But, uh, you know, this car just got detailed, so we're pretty good on the wax department. And like I said, that's why I like the spray detailers that have that little bit of wax in there. But yeah, you could definitely come back and wax it if you wanted to. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Had a good time today hanging out with Bear. I'm gonna thank you. Thank you know, you. glad he let me uh, get my hands on this thing and straighten it out for him. So, got a lot accomplished today. It was actually a good day, and and it actually got pretty nice outside too. Got a little warmer. So yeah, guys. I hope this proves you know. I mean, don't be afraid to enjoy your car. Don't be afraid to get out there and, and put your hands on it. And, you know, don't be so afraid of scratching it, too. I mean, you can always fix a scratch. You know, any kind of damage you're going to do with a microfiber towel, you could probably fix with, like, a cleaner wax. So, I mean, get out there and enjoy your car. Don't be so afraid to scratch it. All right, guys. Like I said, I'll uh, try to link some products into the description if you want to get your hands on them. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, just... Let me know in the comments. I try to get back to people leaving comments. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.